also think on the basis that it does go out, we need to take a view next week and put like some disclaimer or something. This was filmed a week ago. There yeah. must have been significant development. The response to our Instagram post was that people really wanted our content at this time. So Here we are. we're doing that on the basis that I think it will give them a bit of respite. But obviously I'm aware that today is Tuesday. This episode comes out a week tomorrow. So much could have changed by then. I hope we won't get abused for being irresponsible if we're all locked in our houses by then. Yeah. yeah. Hello, Rich. Hey, guys. Hi. How is everybody? In good health at the moment. Weird times, right? I, saw, I just saw a meme that was like, I feel like I'm in that bit between Christmas and New Year. Yeah, so we come into work, we shouldn't be. Yeah, because like I'm coming on like a Saturday. What are we doing now? We are the only ones in the SL office today. We're going to film an unboxing for Thursday's show, which hopefully will still go ahead. This is the first fashion VT for the show. Obviously, when we're live, there's only so much we can do with that live formula. That's why we're going to start introducing some VTs, seeing what we can do if we pre film things. What's the product? It's Zara unboxing. We've got three things each, and we have not seen what the other one has picked. Ah, so it's still a mystery. What do you reckon Charlotte's got? I don't know. If you had to guess. A sleeveless blazer. Yeah, what do you think Something we've got? Something really bright and colourful. Really boho, some bows, sequins, yeah. florals. Bows is not off brand. I love a bow. You do love a bow, that is true. Rich, you've got some little scratches. Yeah, that's Hero. <laughs> the little ninja. <laughs> <laughs> He's like that. Maria, how's the shoot going to run? Pretty standard. Two cameras, two mics, that's it. Let's we'll see how they dress the same. Yeah, how we wore the same outfit. The same outfit. Same bash boots at yours, right? Significantly cheaper. Uh, same outfit format, different colours. Yeah. Twinning is winning. Really nice. Yeah, I do like again. Yeah, let's switch. I had deliciously egg granola with blueberries and yogurt. You speak a bit louder than that? Are you all right? I do. That's probably the quietest you've ever said anything. And then for lunch, I had gazpacho and avocado and hummus with pita. Oh, oh shit! God. I'm so jealous of your choices. <laughs> like, stock your fridges. What are you having? Yeah. Gazpacho is essential. I'm ready when you are. Does my t shirt look really creased, by the way? I've seen less creased t shirts. <laughs> I have a quick steam. So, where Ooh. did you get these from? No, it's Ben's mum bought them in Argentina. What are they? Limoncello themed. Hand sanitizer? Yeah. Oh, great. Have you got enough to spare for a poor, lonely videographer? Go for it. You know, we love a bit of Zara here at SL. We thought we'd bring you our picks from their new spring collection. I have picked three pieces, Charlotte's picked three, and we have not seen each other's. We're going to reveal for you what is in this big Zara box right now. It's so lovely and light. Yes, it is, it is, it is. It's got pockets. You know how you spotted this? When we ordered these, secret shopper. Mm -hmm. Zara actually do the best trenches on the high street. Yeah, and for eighty pounds, so wearing this like a high waisted skirt Cute. or high waisted leather trousers, she's got colour in there, Rich. Oh my See god! It? I know. And then finally, the only colour you always say this to me that mm -hmm. I actually wear is lilac. You've done this like entirely monochrome wardrobe with loads of lilac. I don't know why, but I just really like lilac. Look, Look at the back; it's got a really big bow. <laughs> big bow. Sorry, it's Sorry, I think that was. Just holding. So should we go and try these pieces on? Yeah, come on. Lou, what are you wearing right now? It's trench coat. It's a classic, right? Also so lightweight. Look at the really cool inside. Really good colour. It's gonna go with a lot of things more like brown or camel tones. Often I think they're harder to wear. This is much easier, despite it not being practical. Charlotte, what colours are you wearing now? This will Mew Mew inspired top. What did you like about it? The collar. I ordered a jigsaw puzzle. You had a jigsaw puzzle the other day as well. That's a puzzle there. I need to leave out of her book. I wanted to get a really big one. A thousand pieces. And it's space. Ooh, I literally love it. Jigsaw I genuinely puzzle. couldn't think of anything else I'd rather do right now. But this is like emergency if we locked out. Netflix, though, right. no? Not for like a month. It's really addictive. This is how far I've got. Oh, wow. Serve Cinque Terre. Cinque Terre. Love it, isn't it? Isn't it so good? Blue, what are you wearing now? Really warm, cosy, real statement broadery detail at the top. So it's a bit of a statement blouse mixing with. Being on a cozy net. Charlotte Collins, what are you wearing now? The big tenty. Oh, definitely. How do you feel about it now? I haven't seen it in the very end. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, I love it. It's really cool. You need that tent fabric to have a sleeve so large. Lou, what are you wearing now? This lilac blouse. What do you like about it? I love the really big bow at the back. <laughs> I love the colour lilac. It's my favourite colour of the season. You've been surprised. <laughs> if you could steal one piece, what would you steal? He's very good at picking pieces that look more expensive oh, yeah. than they are. And the trench is yeah. definitely her best pick. Classic, cool, great wash. Love it. It's difficult this because there is so much we can do. There's obviously like plenty to talk about. We want to be catering for what people might care about. Realistically, what are people going to want from the fashion team? Comment in the section below, please. On that Instagram post, it's like 200. Oh my God. Honestly, I genuinely felt so motivated by the response to that. It's like giving us a purpose. Nearly 4,000 likes. It's so nice to feel like you've got a direction and a purpose in a crazy time like this. We're not nurses on the front line, but how nice that we can kind of play our part in at least keeping people entertained. Like, in this time though, it's really going to bring communities together. It's going to be really, really hard. That, that is one thing that we can control is how we respond to each other and team. 
teams and the old Dunkirk spirit. Yeah. How did that go? Good, very quick. We've done an unboxing in an hour. I'm really excited to now be trying ETs on the show. We can bring a whole new dynamic to the fashion content on the yeah. show. That's really exciting. Thank you so much for watching. Obviously, everything we've talked about will be linked in the show notes below. Back to the studio. <laughs> I always wanted to say that. Good morning, Georgie Courage Call. How are you? Can we just pretend the world's a normal place? Uh, yeah, we can pretend. The sun's shining. The it's sun is shining. Like a normal day. It's very weird, right? Oh, Rich, what's happening? Odd stuff is happening. Are you okay there? Everyone well? Mm. Hi, my love. I'm all right, thanks. How are you? Are you all right? Well, don't cry because that's not going to get anyone anywhere. We're all in this together. It would be nice bothered to say, I hope everything's all right with your business instead of whinging about their bloody holiday. Listen, my lovely, I better go. Rich is here for our last hurrah. Thanks, hon. Lots of love. Bye, bye, bye. I did say to my husband, I was like, do we have enough champagne? He was like, honey, I don't think anyone else has stopped finding champagne. By the way, we're on the Kremlin now. <laughs> I just said to Rich, have we got enough champagne? He said, we're on the Kremlin now. Yeah, tough time. <laughs> tough time. Good morning, Laura Black. How are you? Good, how are you? Very well. Look how at this. Nega is this. Oh. Yeah, how is it? I love you saying that to the room that's empty with no furniture. But look, he's, he's oh, fine. Yeah. The good old Jack Frame. He's here. Good old Jack Frame. It's good. Okay. Thursday. So, what are we doing today? That's a good question. Nora and I worked from my dining room table yesterday. It was quite productive. Yeah, it was your time. The table was a bit bigger. Marginally. We're going to try and do a few bits of content today. Some Easter eggs. <laughs> really, my breast off. In the face of Corona, we're talking Easter eggs. Well, people need a distraction, don't people they? People want distraction. We actually put a post on our Instagram yesterday saying that we were going to plough on and we could work from home. And we had the most lovely response. People, it would seem, really want some light relief. Oh, For now, she likes us in a healthy position. I'm quite grateful that I've been married to an accountant in all these years encourage me to be frugal and have a tight grip on the budget we're in a good place but who knows what's around the corner what's so, first can we have a coffee oh so there's coffee upstairs yeah, in the oh in the kitchen wow this has changed significantly I mean, I know what a struggle it was, but this looks amazing, doesn't it? It's worked well, I think. Even my mum said the other day, she went, I mean, I was a bit worried that it was very blue. Now I can see it all together. Don't do what you think about, about the kitchen. Uh, How much were you involved? No, I do not get a grade in the same. <laughs> <laughs> it looks lovely, time will tell. He has this much to do with the kitchen. So you don't need an extractor fan up, up above it? Down. Jamie's a clever, clever man, isn't he? Very clever. That is clever. Have you ever seen such a thing? No, I didn't know that existed. Let's have a look. That is seriously clever. It's cool, isn't it? Mind blown. Oh, look! Yeah! Yeah, and the pièce de résistance. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I freaking love those things. I would literally have them in every room of the house if I could. I really like the kitchen. Oh, good. It's such a nice place to be, isn't it? Bit. Which bit do you like? The sofa with the lights and the picture. I absolutely love that. My babes. Oh, Otto there. This is too much. Otto, oh, you could eat him, couldn't you, in that photo? So sweet. Right, so I'm going to get my laptop. It's by then, so you, you're going to see if you can find anything. Oh, yeah. Because the lead time is three weeks. There's some missing more lights have we got. Yeah, I've ordered it. Where's Bedeen? Of course he is. It's really good for your lungs right now, isn't it? Strong wallpaper game in here. Amazing. Good wallpaper, isn't it? Michael, yeah. the spot in here is not working. I think it's working because I'm doing three plates here and the power is off for the light. Okay, that makes sense. It's my home study. I'm going to be spending a lot of time in here. Really good. Good, isn't it? We've got no lights in here. You can come in. Georgie, where are we now? We're in my dressing room. It's so weird to be here now. It's built. I don't know why, but. Um, oh, look at your bag. It looks so good. Thanks! Oh, it's your IKEA bathmat. I know, I love my IKEA bathmat. Yeah! The IKEA bathmat. And the wash the hand. I'm waiting for my mirror. What kind of mirror are you gonna have? The kind of big black one. I mean you've gotta check out my curtains in here. Yes, please. Look at those. Look, these are my black up curtains. We've had a slight delay with the curtains. Oh, that chair. It's an for 125 pounds, you've absolutely nailed it. An upholstery mate. cushion to go with it. From my mate, Andre. He charged me 65 quid to make that with a bit of off-cut fabric and my shades. Oh, I've got my carriers downstairs actually. Plug a button and sprung. Button and sprung. Beds. 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 Rosanna Lonsdale. Oh, bloody hell. Is that fancy? Oh, yeah. Rosanna Lonsdale. Well done. What do you like the most? Oh, it just makes me feel a bit. Envious. Do you think she's got enough wardrobe space? No, <laughs> absolutely not. Where it, is it double sided? Yeah. Triple sided, it's triple sided. Oh my god, it goes all the way around. See? Very envious. It's the headboard for it. It's the headboard. That's your favourite thing. And do you like the way the headboard matches the cushion? Matches the balance. Matches the balance. Didn't even see the balance. Oh, downstairs, yeah. You sorted out the wallpaper. Few. Yeah, yeah. It's also my dumping ground. Nice wallpaper though. I really oh, like it. What do we have here? Dining room. Look at the Home and sitting room. Tell me about the wallpaper. Yeah, three. And tell me about the table in the chairs. Table, Swedish 
Turkish antique. The chairs are also antique. My friend found for me on eBay. I happened to find 12, which is really rare. I had them recovered. And then the sitting room, which, you know, hopefully I'll get some furniture. That painting, so good, isn't it? For now, I can just sit on my little chairs and look at my painting. Where do you get your chairs from? They are also antique. What do you like most about this room? Right now, it's probably my David Seyfried Ottoman. You might be pipped to the post by my sofas. I don't know. We'll see when they arrive. What are we going to do now? I might just log on. I haven't looked at my email for a while. There's anything we need to do. Oh, look. Fortnum and Mason Easter praline scotch egg. Did they send us that, Georgie? Oh, wait. Is that Fortnum? This is Fortnum. Ruby chocolate egg filled with muscovado sugar truffles. Handmade white chocolate ganache with an orange truffle centre. I'm not sure that's doing oh, it really for me. Chocolate coddled eggs. They can't be real eggs, surely. No, no they're not real eggs. That's the point. Then we've got an M&M RG Easter Sunday. Oh, it's got chocolate pretzel on top of it. Jumbo Easter butter. A fruity Easter Sunday. Oh, that's right. You're sweet. You don't like anything fruity, do you? Not for me. You know what I really need to do is whiz into next and get Otto some trousers and shorts. Yeah. It's like a freaking beanstalk. My son grows about three inches a week. I send this to you. And Becky. And then Becky. She also told me what all her new beauty is in the office. Okay. So go and have a look. Yeah. Let's so have an email from Given that for so many of us our businesses are often the resource that supports and underpins our relationships, we thought we'd share our views. Their opinions that, as ever, with comments from investors should be put through the usual, they don't really know my industry filters. <sighs> Product or service, market fit, our latter point, does the world as it is need your service? Counterintuitively, this normally means you have to do less better. In 12 months, it will be better to have a beautifully formed business, no business, because he felt to act on things you can control. We won't say good luck, rather stay well, good actions. No, yeah. What was that? That was a note from our investors. What did you take from it? I've got a meeting tonight with RFD. Look at our cost base. Look at what we're going to do. There did seem to be positives coming out of that. Yeah, we are in the best possible place we could be as a business. We're uh, digital and we have money in the bank, but equally, we also have to make changes. It's serious times, right? Yeah, it's fucking serious times. On the basis that it does go out, we need to take a view next week and put like some disclaimer or something. This was filmed a week ago. There yeah. obviously been significant development. The response to our Instagram post was that people really wanted our content at this time. So Here we are. we're doing that on the basis that I think it will give them a bit of respite. But obviously, I'm aware that today is Tuesday. This episode comes out a week tomorrow. So much could have changed by then. I hope you won't get abused for being irresponsible if we're all locked in our houses by then. Josie, I know what I was going to say. So Loz is recruiting for the parenting role. Are you listening? Yeah, but, but just hear me out. That's something we could easily do. We could probably do three days a month with her. That is something we should potentially launch. Actually, we need to be investing in these things. If there's ever a moment for a parenting product, yeah. potentially now actually spending on a product that's going to be there on the other side, I think is a really positive thing. Shed Ups is still here. We're the leader in the industry. We're in such a good place. We're launching a new product. Out. Sends out a message to our advertisers. We are a place to put your money, not shutting down our doors. It makes us really strong. I thought that was a really good point of marks, actually. What do we need to do? Sign up to Slack or whatever, just get that sort of really need to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I spoke. To, I had a conversation with Lars about it yesterday. Get the tools in place. Everyone's managers are in touch with them three times every day. Get, get. Yes, Chris. I sent an email yesterday. Yes. Don't tell me what I've already Tell me everything else. Just I'm Fine. saying. I, we're on it. On the board and round the board like this. <laughs> We love each other. A lot. A lot. We will come out of this stronger in the industry. What's your favourite food? Snacks, I really love them. What's your favourite snack? They change on a daily basis today. These, Georgie introduced me to these yesterday. Lightly sea salted greys. Mm, so good, mm, so yummy. Did you see this one? It's going to be me. It's so good. Finally, I was sitting there reading my book. Somehow I didn't think that's going to happen. Guys, where are we right now? We're at Southside Rich, Thank doing you. something really highbrow today. Easter eggs. Easter eggs. Easter is still going to happen, right? It is. People so need to know what eggs to buy. Got to get your children some Easter eggs. They're going to be cooped up at home. You know, whilst it won't, you know, young children will not be shaped or damaged by this. They're children. It's just not fair to There's also too misery. lots you can do with it. They will come out with happy oh. memories as well as... I mean, for my children, they think it's great. I'm going to be at home. Yeah. I'm never at home. They're like, Mummy, you're gonna be at home all that time. Yeah. It's my own mental health I'm worried about. That is the silver lining. Because no one be mean about anything we say on behind the scenes today. It's, it's a tricky cool. time to navigate. We're here to hopefully bring a bit of cheer, yeah, get a bit of normality. Yeah, I just hope people don't say horrible things. They do. Buck them. Buck We got a parking space on the ground floor by Waitrose. So, you know, it's not all bad. There might be nothing on the shelves other than some Easter eggs. Okay, let's do this. Oh, do you know what I love? What do you love? What? Lobster bisque. Really? Oh. I love putting a tape. Yeah, it's really good. Is it? It's 86p at the moment. It's really good. Is it? Well, you never had it. It sounds like the kind of thing I'd absolutely love. I've Should we never... get it? Yeah, we try try yeah, let's do some tin testing. Tin, 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 tin testing. Why don't we take some photos of our favourite? Yeah. Let's go back. 
back tomorrow and we can road test a few tins. Well, I'm really sorry to drag you two into next. Right. I do have a very tall son who just goes like this as he sleeps. Can I just say, our lookbook shoot with next that Polly and Poppy did is one of the coolest bits of content. So it's great. so good. It was on behind the scenes last week. They just look phenomenal, those two. That is heaven. £14. I love next for children. I buy yeah. so many of my children's clothes. Yeah, these are so sweet. Is that too big for Mimi? No. Right, that's Mimi and Otto. Coco's quite well equipped. Living big enough. Ah, here we go. Ten, nine. Ah. Chinos. They're going to be a bit big around the waist. Why isn't that working? Oh shit. My husband's one. Oh, That'll be why. Card cancelled. That was really sent him over the edge. Oh, puzzle books. Erasable colouring pencils. I'm ready for my arts and crafts. I know, me too. Puzzles. Scrapbooks. This is what I used to have to do at my school. We used to have to do a scrapbook every summer. That's a quite good idea. They could write a diary every day. Well, creative writing. Create your own stories. Do you ever just, buy these? I just bought one of those on Amazon. Coloured by numbers. Hey, that's quite good, isn't it? I would like that. I might get a puzzle. See, yeah, I might too. Oh, yeah, look, that's that. sweet. An antique centre, you'd like that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, fine. What is it? Two for 20? Oh, I've got a £10 note I can give you. Use pin pad to complete transaction. Hand sanitizer. Is that your only one? I've got some. I don't know. What are we just having? What are we doing now? Just got ourselves a puzzle. I've got some clothes for my son, just in case the shop shut. What are we doing? But is it a taste test? These are all quite bog standard, aren't they? Fruit and crunch. Yeah, there's a fruit and nut or a crunchy. Oh, oh my god, it's my actually god. in the shell of the egg. Wow, that sounds insane. Yeah, That's my egg. Those. Yeah, let's get one of those. Chocolate yeah. avocados. Oh, look at those, actual eggs. Pens eggs to the Centre. You don't need loads. Yeah. Quite a few. Yeah. You've got four things. I mean, that looks good to me. Georgina said there are some in the office. Are we going there now? Yeah. yeah. People like that. There's Waitrose and that's dairy milk. Let's look at the soups. Why are they all going to be gone? Paracetamol? Yeah, you can't find them anywhere. No, I mean, I don't think there's any here, is there? So, what are we doing now? We're going to look and see what tin suit. I mean, this is so good. Oh, we are based. Oh, yes, please. Actually, do you know what else is quite good in the tin? Spicy parsnip. It's good, that. Let's road test it. I love a parsnip, don't you? Should we get a parsnip? Oh, yeah. Cold. How was that? What did we do? I got a few clothes. We've got a couple of Easter eggs to add to our haul. We've got a few soups. A bit of Instagram content. Or is that a tins at the supermarket piece? Maybe that's better. Yeah. Right, should we leave everything in the car? Or should we go and see what's in there? We're gonna grab some eggs and some books. Eggs and books and beauty, maybe. That was really good rightness. Oh, would you take my keys? I'll go around, press two, turn it back. Second floor. <laughs> Not too bad. Oh, I that is. Cocoa bar. Oh yeah, open those. I'm going into the Heston indulgent eggs with banoffee inside. How do they taste? Mm -hmm. What have you found? Peanut butter. <gasps> the eggs. Oh, no. shit. Milk chocolate. Oh, chocolate. Yeah. Let's try one of these. How does it taste? Delicious. That's good. Georgie Corish Cole, what's on your desk? Laughter yoga. Daily practices for health and happiness. About voluntary laughter. Learn to laugh even in the absence of humorous stimuli. You act happy, you'll become happy. Your body can't tell the difference between real laughter and false laughter. That's what we all need to do when we're stuck at home. Laughter yoga. Laughter yoga. What have you got? Elizabeth Arden. Take the Prevage 28 day challenge. Mm. Believe in proof, not promises. With the 28 day hashtag Prevage challenge. A program designed to prove visible differences in the skin. Or provide the customer with a full refund. That's quite cool. I could do that, couldn't I? You've got time. Yeah. Hmm. Ah, for increasing levels of hydroxy acids infused with supercharged antioxidants. Yes. I'm gonna do this. Worth a try. An omega-3 supplement. Which is a protect against coronavirus. Oh, oil, do you have to drink it? One five ml spoon every day. Mm. Fish oil. How much? <sighs> It's sort of lemony. Lemony? Oh, lemony lemon's not fishy. bad. Lemony fish. Like a Dover sole. <laughs> and you've got a... Collagen drink. I'm gonna look fucking good in 28 days. This is 28 daily sticks. Why not, hey? Might do that too. And that's what's on my desk. How to start losing your shit with your kids. Right. Now's the time to read that. I'm gonna take that home as okay. well. I'm not gonna be needing a ski suit anytime soon. Oh. Sad time. People always message in and they're like, please tidy up your office, it's a kit. You're responding to feedback right now. I know. Right, that's that. Oh, that peanut butter egg was excellent. Thanks so much. Okay, bye, bye. Who was that? It's Hattie. And how is she? She's in control. All good? So, yeah. We're about to receive Thursday's email. On time, if not slightly ahead of schedule. Amazing. Yeah, she's nailing it. Making a hot squash. Yeah, I've got one. <laughs> no, okay, thanks. Instead of try teaming yours, just team them with an oversized pair. Easily available and great on the go, not for on the go. What are we doing now? I'm gonna see what new beauty Becky's got kicking around for a haul. She said there's a bag next to her desk that has all the newness in it. Since when did Gucci do makeup? Marini Forte, her products are in their hotels. Jiju Daily, moisturizer, super infusion. Right, okay, I think that'll do. Oh, um, caught your eye. I've got some Clarins lip mousses. Oh. Isn't it, it looks quite cool. It's really nice. It's like a stain, isn't it? Yeah. Becky would say just buff it in. Buff it in, then she put it on her cheek and make it look really glowy and make me want it. Yeah. Some Dior serum. Super yeah. potent serum. Super potent. Oh, that's nice packaging. 
it's now. Nice. I have that in my bathroom. Well, it is Dior, right? Yeah. Great for a shelfie. I hate the word shelfie. It's even worse than selfie. It is. It's not good. It's not good. Don't use it again. Okay, fine. <laughs> and what did you We've find? We've got a few things here. We've got a beauty pie candle. What scent is it? Bahia de Miel. It's a black candle, which I love. You need to have a bit of black in every room, don't you, Nora? You do. You have a bit of black in every room. Right up my street. Marie Bay Nourishing Hair Oil. I love this brand. Some setting spray from Urban Decay. All nighter. I mean, I'd love to say I'm going somewhere where I need my makeup to last all night. It's not happened for a while, is it? Beauty Sleep Foaming Bath <gasps> with a calming blend of organic Ylang Ylang Clear Sage and Patchouli. I love Ylang Ylang. How's it smell? Oh, that's In my good. bath. Dior have these new creamy concealers. I've got a massive spot on my face right now, so I don't come really close. So. Creamy concealers with massive great nibs. Seems to be a bit of a thing. I think I found my perfect shade. I've got a red overnight glow dark spot sleeping cream. What is not to love about that? Origin lip balm. It's quite nice. Vina Animal. Who knew? Gucci. The makeup. Oh yeah, did you get? Cheek, right? And it makes a really good noise. What's happening? Jonesy sent me this. Well, it makes me want to cry. This just popped up on my phone. Happy times. They will be here again. Oh my God. It feels like... You right? I don't know why, that makes me really sad. We'll come again. Oh, I know, I know. This too shall pass. Oh, when you see your children, you're like, oh, this fucking world they're in. What is it? What does it all mean? Maybe it's resetting itself to make it better for them. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Hi, darling. Yes. Hi, Gorgie. Oh, Laura, maybe you can have more with their work again. Yes, please. Yeah. Hey, She's wearing one of those next tops now. How are you? Uh, I need a big hug. We were doing a soup taste test. Tim soup taste test. Yeah. Hands, hands. Wash your hands. hands. Mimi, we have got lots of chocolate to taste. You don't like chocolate, do you? Yeah. We're going to have some soup <laughs> and then we'll have some chocolate. Okay, bud? Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Okay, soup. Uh, what will be your pick of the soup, Jensie? Oh, lobster bisque all day long. Well, first up, what are we doing? We are doing a soup taste test. Three soups that were in plentiful supply on the shelves. What have we got? Spice parsnip. We've also got the world's best diffusers. Mm -hmm. Of us, but I mean, insanely good. Yes, my friend gave me this. <sighs> Give me a crouton with a bit of cheese on that. Yes. And yeah. bacon. Epic. I love a pea and bacon soup. Right, so let's go first with the parsnip. Right, here you go. How's it taste? Ooh, it's good actually. Really creamy. That's good. It's, it's, a it's quite a light flavour, isn't it? Do you like? Yeah, nice. Oh, this smells good. That's yummy. This is the lobster beast. How's it taste? It's delicious. Oh, I think that is. So good. Thanks very much. That is a great find. Oh, delicious. And finally, this will be good. Cream of petit pois and bacon soup for Waitress and Brown. Mimi, no, no, definitely not. I love a pea and bacon soup, can I just say? That's, That's really good. good. That really is good. really good. Quite salty. Oh, that is yummy. Yeah, I'm no, really, okay. really surprised by both. You've tasted all the soups. What was your best? I'm going to go lobster beef tea and parsnip. These are three of my favourite soups there are to eat. And I'm going to go pea and bacon, lobster beef. That's a close call. If you had to self isolate for three Month, which soup would you go for? Yeah. Bologna, that one. Friday night supper, all the creme on. That's a nice bread, I'd be very happy to get. Would you not like a bit of chocolate? Yeah. Laura, what are you doing? Taking a snap of some Easter eggs. The photographer for the day. Yeah, sure. Do you know if I had to choose from all of these right now? Me too. Yeah. I'd go Me straight too. to this guy. What are we doing now? A bit of an Easter egg haul. Got some that were sent in, some that we picked from Seed Market. Shame to open them all. There's no one at work to eat them. We can give them some of these guys to take yeah. home. This is chocolate, dairy, and gluten free. How's it taste? I'm waiting for the chocolate taste. A bit bitter. 25 quid. We've not got off on the best part, have no. we? Oh God, it's made of three things. Cocoa beans, unrefined raw sugar and oats. Oh, that's quite clever. What? Great is a healthier option. Great is a healthier option. Fornum and Mason. Ruby chocolate egg filled with mascavado sugar truffles. Do not stand on those chairs. This is too pretty to break. We open it. You go for it. Open your mouth. All in. Mm. Does it taste good? Very nice. I like that. Very smart. You can't go wrong with a Fornum and Mason. Very pretty. There was something else in Fornum and Mason, wasn't there? These guys. The chocolate cuddled egg. I feel like our team are giving a really raw deal with that is cool, look, it's like an egg inside. Laced with whiskey cream and yolk. Oh, it's soft. How's it taste? That is seriously good. Mm. How's that taste? Oh. You go, Rich. Is that good? That is something else, yeah. Next, should we do a bit of m and Fruity Easter Sunday. Fudgy, should we do a fudgy? Yeah, Laura doesn't good. like fruit chocolate. <laughs> to be fair, going to pick your brother up from school, not sitting tasting Easter egg. I know which I do. This is the reality of working from home. Come here, please, can we ignore my crying child in the background? Oh, look, he's got a pretzel on the top. Chocolate pretzel. 
Oh, that pretzel oh, chocolate is so good. It's like a flip. That's a good Easter egg. That's yeah. going to be delicious to eat. Oh, an M&S. Thumbs up for me. Yeah, I'm And happy. next we've got a jumbo Easter butter. Is this M&S again? Yeah, I like this. Come and have one of these bad boys. Yeah, these yeah. are excellent. Cracking You smashed it. Thanks so much. It. You're extremely funny. It's not a yogi matter, actually. Uh, all right, all right. Uh, <laughs> you can get your hand on some of these. These are dog's bollocks. What are you going for? Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 Try no, 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 no,
It could take up to 18 months to know whether any jab is effective. Mm. Amazon has announced plans to hire 100,000 new warehouse and delivery workers amid a surge in demand. I love the fact that the company who has wiped out so many independent retailers is the only one that's going to profit from this fucking madness. Real companies have begun talks to negotiate emergency measures during the coronavirus. The virus has triggered a significant fall in passenger numbers. How do you feel now? Drained. I can need to lie down after that. Okay, job well done. Done. Taking care of business. What's next? Show. Show. Excited? We're up. Pumped. What's going to get you through? Okay, break. Got to be done. I'd like a really sexy window cleaner to just crawl up past my window right now. Sorry, I can't help you out. You that happen, Rich. Do you want me to buy some scaffolding? One of the sections on the show today. Chat. Chatting about. Oh, fuck, I forgot my things. Fuck. Do we need to dive in the car? Yes. What have you forgotten? It's my wardrobe panic buys. Fuck, I knew I was going to do that. We've got to go. We've got to go. Let's go, 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 go. You're happy. I forgot them, aren't you? A little bit. Bugger, bugger, bugger. What are you going to collect from your house? On the show, we're doing the three things. Not that we're stockpiling. It's not okay to stockpile. Okay, we all panic. Tried to stockpile a little bit. Now I've got the message that's not okay. Three things that if we're housebound, we couldn't do without. Bugger, bugger, bugger. Hannah Martin's here. Well done, her. Well done, Hannah Martin. What a trooper. What is Hannah Martin known for? She's a makeup artist. She's in one of those 10 years younger programs. She's awesome. She came on the show a couple of months ago and people loved her. I'd sort of self isolate with Hannah. She's sort of cozy. <laughs> that is high praise indeed. Just an all round really nice person and we all really like her. And chat. Chat is about some of the good that is coming out of coronavirus. The human race putting together in times of crisis. We are intrinsically, fundamentally good. If there's anything you can take from this, it is that, I think. Chris Martin did Instagram, TV, and then John Legend did one the night after. Someone else did one yesterday. They're doing things to entertain people. People want to help others, help the elderly, get the food and medicine. And I think there's something really touching about that. And on a personal level, the way my team are rallying and putting together. It's amazing. We had a Google Hangout with nearly 30 of us on one call yesterday. Just checking in, everyone was okay. Just saying hello, and everyone was managing from home. It's really lovely to see everyone's faces again. It feels so surreal. I'm really bowled over by everyone. Teamwork and spirit. We've come on a bit since Tuesday. Oh, wow, you did the grouting and everything for that. Oh, my floor, isn't it a great table? Oh, nice, it's great. It's here as well. Look at this. It doesn't have a door. There's a little problem there. Carpets tomorrow. We need cremel. De jura. Snack. What was my other thing? Diet Coke. I've got a can in the car. How many things do you need? Well, it was three. Mm. But I always break the rules. I've got four because in my Aldi, Cremant de Jura goes. Ah, Saint Germain. This. Oh, Chambord. Chambord, a classic. I think that's better. No, no, no. Saint Germain's more fun than Chambord. I'm actually getting trouble changing the asset. Hi! I've done the brief one down. I forgot my products for the show. I forgot my things I can't live without on the show. Guess what they are? Don't look. No. Close though. Yeah. No. It's like Mr. and Mrs. Thing. How many years have you known me? No, I would have said those ones though. Oh, I think I didn't need booze counted. I feel it was a dry show. I might bring this home, I might not. I'll see how we get on. That was like Mr. and Mrs. Right, I need to quickly do my nails. Panic over. It's panic over. No one. Drink it. This is cold. It's just come out of the fridge. It's going to be a great show, guys. Do I need to teach you how to do sound? Yes, please. Multi talented today. What are you doing? Great, it's a new learning curve. Hodge, the sound technician. Day one. Show four. Oh. Show one of sound. I mean, this learning curve is getting steeper and steeper, I know. right? It's fine. I'll be presenting that. How's the show looking today? Is it going to be a fun one? I think it might be our last one for a little bit. Are we going to cope with such a skeleton crew? I'm going to cover sound. Daisy's doing auto cue. And Ali's doing camera. Maria's doing camera as well. Teamwork makes the. <laughs> Good morning, Hannah Martin. How are you? Very well, thank you. How are you? It's odd times, being very cautious, but of carrying course, on regardless. Yes. What are you in to talk about today? We're talking about skin brightening. How do you brighten your skin? Yeah, Vitamin yeah. C? Oh. Hello, yeah, vitamin C is a recurring theme. How do you get the vitamin C into your skin? Definitely worthwhile doing it topically because it's a really powerful antioxidant which helps protect the skin against free radicals okay. to do the most damage. What have you got here? As a makeup artist, there's so much you can do to brighten your skin with makeup, but that's not tackling the problem that is dullness. So we're talking through a couple of different exfoliators, a couple of my favourite serums here, it's kind of about your skin food, different moisturisers that have brightening benefits, and then two different makeup items that are really quick fixes for a quick bit of luminosity. If there's one product you have to buy for brightening, what is it? Super it's a really potent vitamin C. It's got antioxidants A, C, and E. Lascorbic and ferulic acid. Excellent. Good morning, Rebecca. Good morning, Rick. You okay? Yeah, I'm all right. Good. How are the kids? Keep your distance. Get back. <laughs> Very okay, thank you. Day two, we're surviving. How the nails? Coming on. Just Fifth Avenue? How'd you guess? It's a favourite. Yeah, the nails are so short. I can't bear it. It's not really big deal. Is it? Is it? You're going to choose things to complain about. Probably the length of your nails should be. I agree. Shut the fuck up. They are very short. Though. Someone messaged me the other day saying, I've cut my manis. I'm doing them from home. Can you remind me what that top crit is that you rave about? If you're doing your nails from home now, people, get onto Amazon and get some of this. Oh, it's Mother's Day on Sunday. Got any plans? I went and drove to my mum's road yesterday. Talked to her in the street. She stood over there and I stood here and we had a conversation. Oh, darling, it's just lovely to see you. She said, I want to give you a big hug. Are you all right? Yeah. 
fine. And don't give me a hug because I'll cry. Okay. Look at her makeup. This is lockdown makeup, isn't it? Why? Glitter, so you feel good. We wouldn't normally wear glitter on a Thursday morning. Do you just suck it by shit? I'm never put my glitter on. I love it. What is it? Glitter. glitter and glow, liquid and shadow. What's in the brows? Anastasia Beverly Hills. Kat McGrath Skin Fetish Foundation, because I love it. L'Oreal Infallible Concealer, because it's a great dupe for tart shaped tape. Bare Minerals Warmth Bronzer. I love bronzer, that makes me feel so good. And then Lip Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Liner. Clarins Balm thing on top. Can I just say? Do a little Clarin cheers. She sent me files. five the other day in one go. I mean, I literally felt like I'd won the lottery. You have number one. Yeah. You're the one. Oh, it's all about the five. No, but it's I'm not got the some. Moment, you try mine. No, I'm alright. Okay, when we're yeah. decoronas. So there's a really milky one. Is it number two? That's divine. Right. Should we do this? Three, two. Hello, and welcome to the Sherlock Show. This was the UK at Facebook. We thought we'd do one more. We've got a skeleton crew. I've never seen the studio so quiet. Hannah, thank you for coming today of all days. People in the gig economy, I just really hope that there are grants for freelancers. Three children at home and schools shut indefinitely. I know, what does that mean? I think music has an incredible healing power anyway. Honestly, delicious. Tastes like the real We all want to glow, don't we? Oh, we do. Honestly, your skin is glowing by it's the end. It's very downsized nose and on the chin. Okay, that's 10 quid, brilliant. I imagine we might not see you. It's not looking likely, no. is it? Please stay well. We will get through this. Look after each other. Thank you to Hannah. Thank you for my brilliantly loyal, committed team. Stay well. Thank you so much for watching and bye-bye. You're out. Oh, well done, everyone. What do we have here? Ellen makes amazing dresses. It's the winter collection. This That's is lovely. This oh, one. no. This thing comes also with the blue trim. trim. Gorgeous. This, it's a little bit Victorian. Pretty. Put, Where do you have them made? I source in Jaipur. I design. Then I have them made in Delhi by this wonderful lady. The sort of for target market grown ups. has a little sleeve. It just covers yeah. here. As if you've got a little bit of floppy going on there. <laughs> I can't see them. A lot of people just don't want to show their arms. A little bit discreet. But let me hang on to these and I'll see what we can do have on a, have a Instagram or the site. We're doing something on supporting small brands. It's quite a good time. Winter. And the pricing or is what? 200 to 250. Okay. I want everything under 250. I mean, we can definitely get Fantastic. you out there a bit. Yeah. Leave these with me. me it's know. lovely to meet. These are definitely the best ones. Mm. Lovely to meet you. Really lovely nice to meet. meet. I think they're really pretty. Really they're really soft. They're obviously all cotton. I love shirts. Yeah. That's it, job two done. Job two done, next podcast. Welcome to the Sherlock's Highlights podcast with me, Georgie Korachkov. How's everyone feeling? Hannah, how are you feeling? Like last night with you and Sarah and I was like, I feel a bit anxious. I gotta say, I was to say, we had a power cut last night, literally as it got dark, felt like the end of the world. Self care is so important. Actually washing your hair, getting dressed into proper clothes, and maybe putting on a bit of mascara. Small acts that will make you feel a bit more pulled together, which I think always helps how I function anyway. Mm, I totally agree. What's gonna happen to me? I'll be a potato by the end. Oh, so potato. Become a bit Round, okay, just giving up on myself. I love it. Can I just say, I love it when Maria, who edits on that podcast, she sits there and she gets the giggles. She's got giggles on that one now. <laughs> you can't hear her. She's desperately trying to hold it. <laughs> Some sort of new routine. It doesn't mean you have to be dressed up to the nines. Courage, give up. Oh my god, you can't again. I can't hold myself at the moment. <laughs> it's so true. Oh. Just courage. We've got children. We've got to keep happy yeah. and protect. What a world we live in. Anyway, thank you so much. Stay well, stay healthy, look after each other. Hopefully we'll be back soon, who knows when. Um, but that's it for this week. Hopefully you will hear from us again soon. Bye-bye. Oh, that was a nice thing to yeah. say. Thank you. Literally, big thank you to all of you. It's really kind of you to come in. I think people will enjoy our content. Maria, you're doing a sterling yeah, job. Maria. Can you walk in? Yeah. Where's home? Just behind the shopping centre, really. Oh, I'm going that way, I'll drop you. I'm going to you. <gasps> Thank you so much today. For the final time, for who knows how long. How was that? I think it was really good broadcasting. Felt really worthwhile. We've already had some great feedback on the show, which is lovely. It felt like a good podcast. Good to see everyone. Anyway, Rich, you take care. You take care. And I really, really hope we're back to the See you later.